Hello everyone. So in this tutorial series, I will be demonstrating you about Selendroid. So Selendroid is basically part of Selenium 3.0 automation frameworks. So uh, soon uh, Selenium guys are launching 3.0. Current version of Selenium is 2.0. But soon in market uh, you'll be seeing 3.0 basically if we uh, go to Google and if we just uh, search for selenium 3.0 you'll find a road uh, map to selenium 3 right this is an official selenium blog so over here you can see selenium 2 was released in 2011 right which is uh, like more than two years back and over here you can see that uh, they're aiming for selenium 3 although uh, it's it's not uh, completely launched but you'll still find uh, some of the apis called apm ios driver and selendroid so these are basically three major component of selenium 3.0 now what exactly is selenium 3.0 right so selenium 2.0 was more focused on web-based automation testing right so web driver was launched in selenium 2.0 selenium 1.0 is already deprecated everyone knows about it right so selenium 1.0 was rc 2.0 web driver now in 3.0 uh, they are basically extending the web driver api to cope up with mobile devices right so this uh, 3.0 platform is completely focused on automation of mobile and web apps on mobile based testing right so uh, using selenium 3.0 libraries anyone can uh, easily uh, automate native hybrid and web apps of uh, android or iphone right ios device although uh, it was expected uh, to be shipped by uh, christmas last year right but officially it is not yet launched but uh, over here if you if you go to seleniumsu.org if you go to the download section uh, you'll find some of the libraries uh, showing over here see selendroid so th the release date is not yet defined right selendroid is there ios driver is there apm is there and you can find the issue issue tracker over here the issues that people people have already started working on all these frameworks so uh, whatever issues that they are finding on uh, these frameworks they are uh, like logging these issues over here right so also i mean uh, if you go to the java docs uh, and if you have already seen web driver api the web driver interface then over here uh, you will see that uh, the previous android driver and iphone driver classes are not there right they are no more there because these classes are now deprecated because they are coming uh, with a separate platform uh, where uh, you can automate uh, ios and android devices completely right earlier in 2.0 the support was just to the web apps right now they're coming with the support of native as well as hybrid apps as well right so i'll really quickly show you uh, what all these apm and send android so i'll uh, open this apm this is apm.io website right here you can see apm uh, automation for apps so apm is an open source test automation framework used for native and hybrid mo mobile apps right uh, apm uh, has a very good support on mac but it has uh, still beta support on windows I'm not sure if uh, they have full support on it or not because a few days back it was showing beta support on Windows, right? So APM is uh, one of the framework, uh, one of the automation framework for mobile apps testing. And the other one over here uh, you can see is Selendroid. So Selendroid, as uh, the name says, it's basically Selenium for Android, right? So in these tutorials, I'm going to give you uh, some demo on Selendroid, how you can configure uh, Selendroid on your machine, how you can connect to a real device, how you can automate using uh, Selendroid, and even uh, how you can set up an emulator and you can automate your uh, 
native hybrid apps on that emulator and on real devices right uh, now you can find the complete set of tutorials on my website that is waytoautomation.com right if you go over here under the mythology section you'll find selenium video tutorials over here right and if you drag down a little bit uh, you will find selenium 3.0 that is selendroid right so i have uh, come up with some of uh, very good tutorials i mean uh, which will really going to help you to connect your devices because it it requires a a, a bit complex configuration when you are you are connecting your devices or the basically it's not uh, I, I cannot say complex but for the first time if you are doing it you might face some challenges that that i have already faced right so I have covered all the troubleshooting steps, uh, how you can configure uh, your device and how you can set up an emulator and how you can automate web app, native app and hybrid app on a real devices, right? So these, these are uh, some of the basic tutorials that I've created which will help you uh, to get started on uh, upcoming version of Selenium 3.0, right? And on the component that is cell android now i'll gonna uh, demonstrate you uh, the cell android on real devices uh, like on an android device basically so over here uh, i have uh, like mentioned all the installation initial installation that is required although all this information uh, you're gonna see it on cell android website itself right but there are some additional and troubleshooting steps that i've also mentioned right which are really uh, helpful and uh, uh, will really going to help you a lot while setting up uh, your mobile device and the emulators right so uh, we'll really quickly start uh, i'll open up eclipse and uh, i'll show you my mobile view i'll open this so uh, this is uh, my Android device, right? And you can see no wires are connected, right? And what I'll do, uh, this is basically Samsung uh, Galaxy Note 1, right? I'll open this device and uh, I'll go over here. I'll run this uh, web driver server. And here I'll really quickly run this now here I'm running uh, the web app test first so what I'll call it do it will go to Google and type hello send Android so this is the first test this is the first demonstration right so on native app sell Android uh, sorry not on native app on uh, web app it's successful the test is really successful right so uh, now let's see uh, the other one and now let me show you the native test so for uh, for this native test i need to uh, connect my device with a usb cable so i'll do that really quickly i'll connect it to the cable and then i'll go back over here and so what i'll be doing uh, i need to uh, start the cell android server and let me close this let me go to the drive where i have downloaded the selenium uh, stand uh, sorry cell android jar file so i'll go to cd softwares jars and then i'll go to over here so uh, over here what I'll do I'll say Java hyphen jar then this and then say hyphen IUT and then I'll give the app that I need to run right so I'll just run the server first <coughs> and once it finds my device let's see it's running okay so you can see that it has found my device that is gt and 
means 7000 and the server has been started on this port right now let's go back to our test so this will be a simple native test and I'll run this and let's take a look over here and let's take a look at the server so it's running and let's see let me open it take some time right okay let me run it again okay something all right so the app is up and here it will gonna type let's say okay it has actually typed cell Android so I think you're not able to see this but over here if you see it carefully see it has typed cell Android over here so this was the initial native app test right all right so the next test we're gonna look it at the hybrid app test right now let's turn on the device again and go back so over here uh, let's, let's go back and open up the hybrid app test so I'll run this again and okay it has given some error okay so in hybrid app I'm using some other application so it's saying the application in the test is not configured so I'm gonna uh, shut down the server once and <coughs> again I'm gonna change the application so this time the application is this so these are the sample applications you're gonna find on uh, cellandroid.io website right I'm gonna find it over there So I'll just run this and let me bring up my so for hybrid uh, as well you need to connect to your device it's still running Let's see bringing up something see all right uh, it's actually going to the web view and all right uh, I think something something got crashed all right uh, let me fix it really quick just give me a moment all right so let us see it over here actually it was my mistake I by mistake I press this Google option right so let us run this again uh, let me run it and let's see it over here and see finally it did work right see this is the hybrid app uh, if you can see over here it has searched for a user this is basically employee directory right let me see I mean if I can turn off the lights because some reflection is coming over here so if I turn off the light uh, oh it's gone so you can see still employee directory this is basically one of the hybrid app this is a sample app provided by cellandroid uh, dot io right all right so now uh, let us see I mean uh, you've seen all these three kinds of app uh, I was talking about native app hybrid app web app so 
what is the difference in all these three things so native app is basically deployed on your local machine right so as in uh, you open up a calculator right where, where no internet connection is required right so calculator is one of the native app right and uh, uh, if you talk about uh, the apps like uh, Facebook apps like WhatsApp so these uh, these are hybrid apps because these are some somehow connected to internet right and web app is the one that opens up in your browser in the Android browser so web app uh, you can relate to what we uh, used to test using the Android driver in Selenium 2.0 right so this is the difference between uh, a web app uh, native app and a hybrid app so you can test all three apps using Selenroid and this is what is going to be launched soon with Selenium 3.0 alright although uh, it is available for testing so you can download it configure it and start playing around alright so I hope you enjoyed this demo